Now let's look at this figure 23-9, and we're going to figure the receptacle load, which is your uh, second uh, load that we want to be looking at, but we're looking at general purpose receptacles, which means they're operating uh, uh, less than uh, three hours, uh, this particular load. And notice the receptacle loads is 220.14i. Uh, 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 table 220.44, and we have 40 total. Now, uh, the table, you know, would give you a demand uh, so that you uh, can have less load on them because they're non-continuous use. Now, in step one, we're going to figure uh, the uh, continuous load. And, you know, the in the title head, we're calculating the non-continuous uh, and the continuous load. So 220.14i and 230.42a1, if they're continuous, it would be 180 VA per outlet times, a, times 40 times 125%, 9,000 VA would be the continuous load. If they were non-continuous, then we'd have 180 VA, excuse me, 180 VA times 40, which would give us 7,200 uh, uh, volt amps because they uh, are used at non-continuous. But see, we still haven't uh, exceeded 10,000, so your table 220.44 cannot be applied there. So the solution is the non-continuous load of the receptacles is 7,200. The continuous load of the receptacles is 9,000 VA. And that's exactly what this illustration 23-9 is uh, illustrating uh, to the user of the NEC.